all right welcome to this video uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a new employee on your OPE app uh, the reason you might need to create a new employee is because uh, this new employee feature is meant for those that are using OP mini that's the OP POS that looks like a calculator very very fantastic POS for those that are using it you might want to separate your account from your employee account so that the employee will not have full access to the main account this is a fantastic feature so that the employee can use her phone and you can also track the performance of the outlets from your own phone even when you are not around so the employee can use her phone connect her phone with the pos and transact while you you can also log in and check what the employee is doing so that is very very fantastic uh, so this is one of this is one of the only pos that have this feature all right if you're new to this channel click on the subscribe button below and also give this video a thumbs up so that youtube will show this video to people who are looking for it uh, all right let's get right into it so the first thing you do is to log in so after logging in you can, you can see my name at the top allow to allow the light up okay so this is we are using the op business app because you can only do this on the op business app so just go to play store download op business app so log in with the same details you, you registered with you don't need to change anything you use the same password okay now you see my store add money and all that you see my employee that's what you click on Okay, let's wait for it to load. So what we want to do here is to set a pin for the employee and I'm going to show you how to use that pin. You see add employee, let's add one employee. So employee, name of employee, let's use, um, let's use Chokpe Alao to, Chokpe Alao, let's uh, set employee's payment pin. Let's choose, um, let's choose, uh, one two three four okay so let's use one two three four but don't use one two three four for your own so that you won't be able to uh so people won't hack into your account i'm also going to change the pin or delete the employee after this video so set daily transaction limits this daily transaction limits is for like it's for transfer so you can set the amount you want the employee to be doing so this is very very okay for us to prevent to prevent the agents from fraud there are a lot of cases where you hear that employee ran away with uh, the owner's money and all that so but if you put this restriction let's put it at uh, uh, depending on where you are so you can put it at 50,000 or 100,000 I think okay sorry this is 1 million don't put 1 million <laughs> upload the employees photo uh, let's see if that's important so let's confirm enter payment pin okay i'm going to put my pin now that's the payment that's the pin you use to you to do transaction on your op app so for security reasons i'm going to pause this video and put my pin that's the pin you normally use whether whenever you want to do transfer on op the pin you, you normally use that's what you use here so let me pause the video and put my own pin okay i think after putting the pin this is where it brought me so it says number of employees one so employee payment pin you can see so it will not show so it has created the employee successfully so it will ask for pin if you want to access the details so uh so we've created the employee which means an employee can download the op business app now and log in the employee will be using this phone number here that is your own phone number don't don't worry they won't be able to have access to your account they only need your phone, own phone number because that's one you, that's the one you use to register they will use this phone number and they will use their pin the one you create for them those are the two th things you need but if you want to log into your account you use your normal details so the employee account is different from your from your own account all right let you can add as many employees as possible but that's not what we want to do so let's log out to log out you go to me you go to settings you go to log out confirm log out so that's the open business app so when you this is where you see like when the employee downloads uh, is our own app this way he or she will see she will need to download the op business app you see uh, i'm a merchant you see here i'm a merchant and you see here i'm an employee so that's where she will click instead of using your own this is your own you put your own phone number six digits but here it's you only ask for you see the difference is that for merchants as in for you as a store owner it has six digits the same phone number 
but for employee you see the same phone number but four digits that's the pin we created in my case we use one two three four so um so i'll put the phone number she suggests okay let me use the phone number you use you, you will not put the first zero so you will not put the first zero okay sorry zero three seven nine then you put one two three four so you log in wrong okay sorry it's one two three four not so you log in so you log in so you can see so though the employee has the employee has access to our uh, charger okay the employee has access to this old account but she, he or she can't do more than hundred thousand so when she she wants to do transfer above hundred thousand the app will prompt her uh we bring an error message which shows that she doesn't have the permission to do more than hundred thousand all right so that's how to basically create uh employee you can see there are a lot of functions here too so but the functions are not as much as your own so she can do transfer she can do withdraw she can do a lot of things on this app uh, just the way you have it on your own app she can do cash out this cash out you are not permitted to use this function until you verify all required information okay that's because i don't have a an op mini on this account i'm actually using a big uh, an op traditional pos on this account all right that's basically how to create an employee or your op app so if you are new to this channel click on the subscribe button below and turn on the bell icon that's the notification bar so that whenever we have a, a new content you'll be the first to know about it and also give this video a thumbs up and uh thank you very much and see